John Fielding knows that things can change quickly, sometimes in an instant with racehorses. Great moments are fantastic and everlasting in their own right, and tough losses may sting for just as long. Last spring, Fielding could all but taste Hamiltonian glory, only to have that dream dashed in a split second on that first Saturday last August, when Father Patrick made an uncharacteristic break behind the gate. But in harness racing, things change for the better as quickly as they can go bad, and a season is defined by more than one race. At the end of the year, John Fielding was left with the prestigious Dan Patch Award for Owner of the Year. Well, we had a couple of surprises. One was we were surprised that Father Patrick didn't get off to such a great start, but he got things straightened out and had a great year. Uh, we were very surprised with Pinkwing because we didn't think he was much of a horse, and he turned out to be a real great horse, so that was good. Uh, we're always amazed at the broodmare Solvig, who is just that. She's amazing. She's unbelievable. So we have that, and uh, it was all in all a great year. Yeah, it was fun. It was a good year. But that Hambletonian loss still hurt. Though for Fielding, passionate about his horses, it was less about himself and more about Patrick. That was as tough as you could ever have, but that's the game, and you know you have to take the highs with the lows. Uh, I felt sorry for the horse, actually, which uh, because I think he was more as disappointed as the rest of us were. So he's a great horse, and I, I'm hopeful that he'll prove as a four-year-old to be just that, which is a great horse. My father Patrick, you know, he's coming back this year, and I, I've sat down, sat behind him a couple times, and he, he uh, he's he's so back on. You know, at the end of the year, he was tired, but. Uh, he, uh, he looked like he's got, the, no, he's got the, the fire back in his eye again, you know. Father Patrick spent the rest of the year on a trail of redemption, culminating in a Breeders' Crown win and a Dan Patch Award. In years past, that would have been it for his career. But with different standards now, he'll be back in 2015. Do you feel like that's kind of a good opportunity for him next year? He gets a little bit of redemption? Well, yeah, yeah, other than the fact that he's going to be racing against older horses, which there's been all sorts of debate about, of course. Uh, but if he's a great, as great a horse as we think he is and as Jimmy Tatter thinks he is, then I think he will get a lot of redemption. And I think he'll be a great stallion as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to the racing part of it because I'm a sportsman and, uh, you know, not necessarily in this game for the economics of it, if you know what I mean. The Hambletonian break might have seemed like the surprise of the season then. But enter Pinkman, a freshman trotter with lackluster training reports to stun his connections in an entirely different way. When did you start to think that Pinkman was really, you know, an upper echelon two-year-old trotter? Uh, probably after after he won in Toronto was a, was a big turning point for him. Yeah, I imagine old Pinkman, if he stays sound and he does what he's supposed to do, uh, he could become a really great older horse himself. So, uh, yeah, that's exciting. Trainer Jimmy Tactor had all but written off the young trotter when he finally realized his potential. And at the end of the year, driver Yannick Jingra had nothing but praise for the son of explosive matter. Of course, it surprised me this year, of course, got to be pink, man. I mean, you know, it's, I tell you that you really never should 100% give up on them. But, uh, you know, I mean, June, July, he was just a horse and he ended up to be a very, very good horse. So he, big surprise to me. He is a safe bet, there's no doubt about it. You know, he goes one, two, three, four, and he, and he tries a lot. A true lover of the game and ever after that next victory, Fielding is looking to 2015 where he might finally catch that elusive crown jewel of trotting. I'm so grateful for everything that, uh, that you know, we've been able to, like, that I've been able to uh, accomplish in the game. I still haven't won the North America Cup and I haven't won the Hamiltonian. So not to sound like a spoiled brat or a, or, uh, you know, well, you know, don't want to sound bad, but I would like to, you know, win the Hamiltonian would be the ultimate goal, which I'm sure it is of every owner. So we've got some other ones that could 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 do really well as uh, as well. I mean, we have uh, Father Patrick's brother, who's a nice horse. We have French Laundry. We we probably have five, I think, that are legitimate contenders. Uncle Lassie, who's uh, who's a, who's a son of Solveig, which would be great. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll get there one day. I mean, we missed by a head with Guccio and. I've just had, never had really much luck in that race, but we'll, we'll hopefully turn that around and get there. And as for Tactor, who was no stranger to the Dan Patch Awards, taking home three divisional winners in 2014 alone. We had a fantastic year. We basically, you know, had a, a flawless year. But it means a lot that for the people that are working with you and the thing like that, for the getting uh, recognition that, you know, we are doing great. I mean, you know, it's, it's always nice to get these kind of awards, I think. Hands-on as he is, training horses is a labor of love for Tactor, and it's something that he wants to be in all the way or not at all. Fortunately, our game is uh, 
a lot of time, you know, the main chef have to be there a lot and you have to be on top of things. And, uh, you know, but I got good people so I can take a week off here and there, you know, without no problem in the, in the, in the winter time. So, I mean, you know, things working great as I do now. But I like to be, uh, I'm the kind of guy that want to be on top of things. Otherwise, I don't want to be in it. The four-year-old role kept Father Patrick on the track, but in this case, it didn't delay his breeding career. Well, I don't think that's going to be a problem for Patrick. I, I think it actually, the, the early sign I see of him, uh, it actually looked like it stimulated him. I mean, oh, he, he looked a heck of a lot more uh, pleased with his life right now. So, I mean, I don't think it's going to affect him. In the end, it may have been Father Patrick's Hamiltonian mishap that cost him the Trotter of the Year award to stablemate Shake It Carry. But Tactor hinted that next year we might see those two meet up on the racetrack instead of just in the ballot box. She might face the boy this year in, uh, you know, Hamiltonia maturity. She's in that, you know. I mean, you know, she's she's a tough cat. I'm, um, you know, I, she can run with the boys too. I'm pretty sure about that.